Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is True Underdog, here today with a breakdown for Black Manta. Let's go ahead and learn this character together. For those of you who are new, these videos are interactive. If you have any extra tips or information on Black Manta, please post down in the comments below. Let's all learn this character together. Alright, let's break him down dogs, let's do this. Where's that pause menu? Give me those special moves. Manta rays, <laughs> I love how literal it is. Okay, can be done in the air. Torpedo cannon can also be done in the air. Rising tide. Harpoon? Air harpoon? A lot of air moves. Oh, a close version? Okay, keep that in mind. Okay, so first off we have manta rays. Okay, that's his beam, and it's mid. So the opponent is forced to block this. Very important. Can you hold it down too? I'm pretty sure you can. Nope, you cannot, but can you meter burn it? Yep, and it's full screen. Look at that nonsense. Oh, time to do some crazy stuff from full screen, I guess. Do I have any full screen projectiles to threaten him with? I'm not even sure if I do. I have the grapple, obviously, right? I have this. But that's a high, so we can duck under it. Uh, interesting. Still, good way to end the combos, I bet, right? Always oh, a 1 2 1 character? 1 2 2? 1 2 3? Always oh, 1 2 3. Okay, so. It's a decent combo ender, right? 1 2 3. And meter burn? Boom! What's the frame data on that? Is it safe? It is not safe at all. The meter burn version is though good, it's a hit confirm. So if you ever do it and the opponent blocks, meter burn and keep yourself safe. That's very important. Okay, on to shark attack. That's how you end the combos. That's also a great wake up attack. If you get knocked down, wake up with that. Very good move, very good. Uh, boom. Good stuff. Meter burn does slightly more damage, I bet. Huh, I mistimed it. Wait. Oh, that's very specific. You can't just hold it down. You gotta do it right before he slams him down. Right there. Oh, extra damage. Not enough damage to be worth the meter at the end of a long combo, I bet. It's almost double otherwise, but I bet the hit scaling doesn't make it worth it. Definitely unsafe on block. I'm just taking a punch in the dark there, but I'm pretty sure it's unsafe. Yep. And then we have the air version, of course, and then we have torpedo cannon. Oh, his missile. That's a high attack, okay. So they can't duck under it, I don't think, though. Does that track? No, okay. It tracks if they're close, but otherwise it travels at an angle. Okay, meter burn version launches to extend combos. I'm pretty sure it actually lets you do a back three after that. Yep, you can totally do a back three after it. Oh, what a great combo starter, you guys. So good. Let's see, how's the frame data? Oh, it's safe. Now, very long startup though, 25 frames. I guarantee the opponent can jab out of that. If not a full combo, probably a full combo. Meter burn is neutral on block, so it's a bit better. You're both even. Can do it in the air. Air versions are unsafe. Keep that in mind. Both air versions are unsafe. Interesting. Next we have Rising Tide. Okay. And it can't be done in the air, so let's see here. Oh, that's the teleport. Nice. I like that. Meter burn to extend combos? Yep. Can I back through that? Oh. Oh, it's hard to tell. He lands very late. No, you definitely can't. Doesn't seem like it, at least. If you can, it's very specific, but I don't think you can. We definitely have moves where you can scoot in though, that's his headbutt, right? How do I end that? Oh, I just had a feeling, I had a feeling. I like his attack strings, they travel around the controller a lot. So if you do the meter burn version of that, you can totally enhance it. Bonk, and there you go. And instead of that, you could just do uh, the first part and cancel into the tackle instead. So you could do this, shark attack, boom. Probably does more damage, right? Only by a little bit, but yeah, it does more damage. That's your combo right there. Boom. That's going to be great for beating projectiles, by the way. Look at that. That's pretty fast. Oh, it doesn't cross up or anything, but tricky, tricky. And it's a mid. The opponent has to block this. I bet it's very unsafe, so be warned. I'm almost certain you can't meter burn on block either. It, it claims you can. Let's go ahead and see that. I, I bet you can't. I just I don't think it's possible. Let's go ahead and have him block it. Let's see what happens. You can. Look at that. And it's an overhead. It's also safe if you do that. It's barely safe, but it is. It claims to be minus four. Hey, safe on block and an overhead. Crazy stuff. Crazy, crazy. Always important to check that. What about shark attack? No, shark attack's not on block. Basically, none of these are on block. Harpoon. Harpoon cannot be meter burned on block. Let's try the harpoon. Let's make sure that Aquaman is not guarding. Okay, harpoon. Boom. And the meter burn. More damage. So let's see how much it is by default. 83. And then meter burn it. 134, okay, a little bit more. Pretty good damage. 
Great way to counter projectiles from full screen. You dodge one, go with the harpoon. Ugh. It's not very fast. It's going to be better for catching them on startup if they're trying to do a bunch of projectiles back to back. You can dodge two, then catch them. That's probably going to be how it works, right? Okay, I don't have a release check on, so I can't do that, but you can duck, and then, ah, real quick, do it, and catch them. Still good stuff. Still pretty good. Can also do it from the air. Ooh. So by default, that's a really good angle, actually. You can meter burn it. Ooh. 181 versus 117. So a good amount of damage. And he has a close version if you hold down, right? I think it said hold down. Yep, you have to hold down. That's tricky. Usually it's hold back. Here it's hold down. That is tough. I'm not going to lie. That's not easy to do. 181. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. So that's his special moves. Very good. Let's move on to the attack strings. Let's go. Okay, we have this whole thing. That. This. We've got a mix up right there. Good stuff. <clears throat> That is a good amount of attack strings, okay. Okay, a low ender. So I did that earlier, but I didn't finish it. That's a good way to start your combos off, I bet. It's got a, got a high at the start, but the rest are all mids. Yeah, so the rest are all mids. And if you want to finish it, there's a low at the end. I bet the low is actually unsafe. It's minus one, hey, looky there, that's not bad. Oh, that's for canceling your combos into the flight. If you end it, get a cool little ender. Wait, so that middle one is overhead? No, the ending one is overhead. That makes more sense. There you go. Now you can actually cancel that into flight. Or you just tap it. I thought you had to hold it down. If you hold it down, he goes up. It's like playing helicopter game. Oh, so people do like, they do one with him. And then bonk. Okay. Oh, I gotta cancel it sooner. That's hard. That's not easy. Ah, oh, I didn't land in time. Well, last time. Oh, okay. You get the idea. You can do it twice, then go for this, and end your combo. Pretty good stuff. Then we have this. That's an overhead. High overhead. Very fast. Scoots forward a bit, too. Ooh, it's quick. Uh, uh. I love how he's got freaking dual blades. I love that. It's so great. Okay, what's this? Those are all mids. Can I cancel that? No, I don't seem like I can. Let me try. Nope. No ender there. And then this, that's definitely a low. Oh, that's good for starting off combos. For sure, right? Yep, definitely gonna work. Is there enough hits done to do my missiles? Yep. Ah, that doesn't reach. That might. That's very fast. Yep. I wasn't fast enough, but totally works. Can I combo after this? Yep, he's fast enough. Some characters actually can't do this. Like, they can't do a jump 3 after their 4 to 3. It's actually increasingly common on the roster. It's tough. I don't think I even recommend doing a jump 3 with him. Nope, I recommend doing a 2. It actually ends. Cool. Alright. Low overhead? Oh, I hate when characters have that, but it's going to be so good for me. <laughs> hey, almost got it. Okay, getting there, getting there. And of course we have this, great ender, and it's an overhead, good stuff, blood in the water. Two mids, good range too, and it's fast. Got a hard knockdown, you can dash in, go for a mix up. That throw range is not as good as it looks. Okay, let's check this frame data. Very unsafe. What about three? Even more unsafe. First two are safe. Okay. Uh, not technically safe. Safe. Not safe. I knew that would be safe, it's all mids. Technically not safe, but very hard to punish. And safe, and safe. Okay. Let's see if it pushes them back to like this. It says it's unsafe, but I wonder if it pushes them back, so it, it might actually be safe. That one's definitely not. I love that. That's like your, that's a great way to punish stuff. Oh, 2-2. Two, two. Oh, so good. That's a single button, by the way. It just hits twice. Really good stuff. Okay. So, we have the way to start his combos off, right? For sure. Oh, that's great. And then maybe this even? I bet you can cancel those first two. Yeah, you can cancel that. You just can't input the entire string and then cancel it. It's not going to let you do it. So that's very fast. They're all mids. Great for hit confirms. You have the low mix-up. You have the low overhead mix-up. That's going to be great day one against so many players. Even week one. That's going to catch people off guard. You have this, which is safe and ends in an overhead. And it's a mid. Look at that range, by the way. That's what makes that move godlike. Oh, sorry. 
Look at this godlike range. Look at that. That's just godlike, right? I'm missing, but that, that's a lot of range, and it leads to stuff. Okay, it's not fast enough for missiles. Thank goodness. That would be pretty nuts, huh? It's not quite fast enough. But, can it be meter burn cancelled? Yep. So if you want to do that, definitely an option. Oh, scary stuff. Look at that damage. Very good. Very good stuff. Okay. So we've broken down a lot of what he can do. That's just good for, like, being safe. Could also be a great way to end combos without meter. It's a lot of damage. Yeah, it's the most he can get, I think, for just two hits. So if you don't want to do crazy combos, that can be an ender for you. If you know what you're doing. Bonk, bonk. There you go. Nice and simple, has a hard knockdown, can dash in and go for more pressure. Very good stuff. This also has a hard knockdown. Knocks them a bit further away, but you can also go in for there. They go a bit further, though. If you dash in, you're not quite in their face. Not quite as close. Still very good stuff. Let's move on to his character power. That's very important. Okay. So he can float in different directions. He can do stabs. He can cancel while in the air. Okay, so you cancel with L2. Okay. So if you're floating, you want to just drop down, it's L2. I was wondering about that myself. Oh man, that's that's not easy. That's going to take some execution. Ah, oh, Triangle seems to actually work better. What does more damage? That does 70. 57. Yeah, why are people doing the, the 1? 2 seems to work just as good. Huh. Oh man, that's tough. I'll make sure to include it in the combo guide later on, but that's that's rough. That's tough to do. Hmm. Does he have anything outside of that that I need to know about? He can cancel, he can do this. How does the heavy behave on airborne opponents? You can do it twice. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with that if you want to keep it simple. Man, that's tough. Maybe you have to do the light. Huh. For anybody wondering, you have to like manually control it as you move. Like you can't just um, like hold circle. You have to move forward as you're attacking, which is not easy at all. Then you gotta use L2, which I'm not used to ever pressing. There we go, got the combo finally. Not a ton of damage, but it was free, didn't cost any meter, so that's okay. He has a lot of great combos anyway for meter. Oh, so he pops up by default. If you're not already in the air, goes up pretty high. That's pretty cool, and he has missiles while in the air. Don't forget about that. So, if you're in the air, you can actually launch the missiles and then float back down. So I saw a player like... Yeah, you can do like stuff like that. Oh, so from the air, they don't actually bounce very high. Yeah, don't do jumping three most of the time. Doesn't seem to work. For consistency's sake, do jumping two. Seems a lot safer. But yeah, you can totally like use his, use his flight, do that. Catch him with the back three, jump two. And there you go, decent damage. Uh, meter burn for a bit extra, only if it kills. That wasn't bad damage though, look at that. That was pretty good. We're doing stuff with Black Manta. Yeah, that's right, we're doing it. Good stuff. Oh, very good. Uh, let's uh, let's have him block real quick. I didn't do this last time and I really should have. Let's make sure like what is actually unsafe. So it claims that's actually pretty safe. That last hit I can guarantee you they can jab out of. It just really looks like it. So this is super unsafe. I believe it said that was unsafe, but let's see. Yeah, that's like technically unsafe. And it leaves you very close, so I can guarantee you that actually is unsafe. Sometimes when a move is like minus 7 or minus 6, you still have to check and see if it leaves you close. If it doesn't, then it's actually not punishable, because every move that's 6 frames or like 7 frames in this game doesn't have good range. So if you push them far away, they can't actually punish you. Problem is, from what I'm seeing, I'm left close with all of these, so they can definitely punish me. Even that one. Like, even at max range, they're still punishing you. Punish City. Yeah, that reaches. So, Punish City. Yep. They can do that into like a, into a shark, It'd just be bad news bears. Definitely can. Watch out for that. Okay. We gotta do a super, I guess, huh? What's the range on his super? I never checked that out. Not very good at all, but I bet it's a decent anti-air. Okay, so as long as the second hit lands, you get the full animation. It has armor too, I'm sure, so that's good. Let's test how fast the startup is real quick. Dang it, my bad. Like, is it fast enough to do in situations like that? Ooh, not good range. That's the problem, not very good range. You have to be careful which attack strings you do. 
Don't want to do stuff like that. Gotta keep them close or it's not gonna work. Okay, there you go. So it still juggles. It's not the best. It is a bit slow and that second hit might actually whip. I hope not. Hopefully if the first hit lands, the second hit is guaranteed, but I'm not sure. That's still a lot of damage. My god. That was a back three combo though. Back three combos are kind of cheating. So just kind of keep that in mind. They're, they are kind of cheating. Can I do it in the air? No, I cannot. Can I combo after that? No, I can't. So you can't actually attack after landing. He falls way too fast. That's tough. Like, I don't know if you can actually combo after that into super. Oh, you could there. Yeah, you definitely could there. Okay. So that would actually work. Got him. Let's go. Got him, coach. Uh, okay. I really hope that second hit is guaranteed. That would be so salty for a player if that first hit landed and the second hit didn't. Oh, can you imagine the rage? How much damage we got? 344. Okay, that's like a bread and butter. That's not very much damage. You don't want to do that. A regular combo gets that much. So that's some risky stuff there. I bet if we keep it short, it hurts. So like right here. I bet that hurts. Bonk, bonk. Now, from what I can tell, he doesn't have a true 50-50, but his forward three is so fast, right? His ground bounce is so fast that it's actually still a threat. No overhead starters, right? You have a low starter and a low overhead and a low in the middle. But you gotta do forward three every now and then, dogs, or the opponent's not gonna stop crouching. They have no reason not to crouch. And this forward three is fast. Like, don't underestimate. That's a fast attack. Ooh, that's good stuff. Wait a second. Can I do this? No, okay, so you can't do an air attack into flight. But yeah, you can. I'm just doing it wrong, I guess? Huh, it's not doing it for me now. There we go. So it's like a weird timing. There you go. So you can do that. Oh my god, Shanky Shank. <laughs> you can totally shank him for some extra hits. That's nuts. Pretty decent damage there. Hmm. Good stuff, good stuff. Alrighty, dogs. I think I'm about done with Black Manta for now. I'm gonna do some research off screen and get that combo guide started. If you have any extra info about Black Manta, please post that in the comments below. And while you're down there, go ahead and leave a like too. It really helps my channel out a lot. And if you want to support the channel and look good while doing it, please check out my t-shirts. If you want to help out more directly, please check out my Patreon. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, because we have content on this channel every single week. It's never a dull moment on Underdog Gaming. So make sure to come back next time, and as always, stay underdogs.